clinical outcomes of progesterone in a modified natural cycle versus hormone replacement therapy for endometrial preparation in a frozen embryo transfer. So in simple terms, which is better? A comparative study, and it was published in the Journal of Reproductive Biomedicine Online in 2023. And this paper compares the outcomes of frozen embryo transfer in a frozen cycle using two different methods of endometrial preparation, a progesterone modified natural cycle or a hormone replacement therapy cycle. The study included a total of 723 frozen embryo cycles and 327 cycles in the modified natural group and 396 cycles in the HRT group. So if you look at the baseline characteristic, both the groups were similar. The clinical outcomes were analyzed in the study included a positive beta HCG, clinical pregnancy rates and birth rate. Results showed that there was no difference which is significant in positive beta HCG rate or clinical pregnancy rate between the modified natural and the HRT group. The adjusted ratio analysis also showed no significant difference in the adjusted odds ratio for positive HCG or for clinical pregnancy rates in both these groups. Now, if you look at the modified natural protocol, it offers the benefit of flexibility of embryo transfer timing, reduced monitoring requirements, and potentially lower risk of pregnancy related complications compared to an HRT. The take home message of this study is that there's no significant difference in the clinical outcomes of frozen cycle using either a modified natural protocol or an HRT in endometrial preparation. Both methods are effective in achieving a positive beta HCG and clinical pregnancy rate. The modified natural protocol offers a convenient, potentially cost-effective alternative in HRT protocol with the added advantage of the presence of a corpus luteum, which in fact may reduce the risk of pregnancy-related complications. However, we need further research. Now, in practical terms, we think that using a modified natural may in fact have a slightly higher cancellation rate due to premature ovulation. And I have my doubts of using it in slightly older women. And so that is a brief idea about this paper.